Okay, everyone. This is Zach Edwards for another Stump the Creator. We need to kick it in gear to overcome Simeon's questions because holy cow, he has another nine questions coming. So we're going to break this into two sets. But uh, if you haven't noticed, um, he's doing a lot of the questions here. I'd love to hear from everyone else. Simeon, don't stop. I want you to keep sending questions. But everyone else, please send your questions. So we're going to straight into there because we're going to try to finish at least four of them. Let's go for four before 10 minutes. Here we go. It says, hi, Simeon again. Sorry that I didn't just put all these questions in the same email beforehand. Number one, October's rare card that says, which, which card is it? I don't even know. If you attack a land that has only one character or army, you take that land, that country. Hmm. Is this card power? Is this card's power still considered to be a card that does its power when it attacks a land? What happens when an opponent plays 1.0 James Armistead, which means that he wins first. That one I remember. I could say I just played on Sunday when I was with my son. Or had earlier played Little Willie in that land being attacked. Little Willie's also a take back card. What's October's card? I don't remember. Do I leave this? Yeah, I'm gonna leave the video. Sorry, I gotta find out. Wait a second. Okay, we're going all the way into the website, going to shop at the top of the, of the top of the page, and then going down to rare cards. We're going down to October, October, October. Oh, okay. The Women's Battalion of Death. Cool name, huh? That's an actual name. That's a histor historically accurate name. The Women's Battalion of Death. Okay, the abilities say, if you attack a land that only has one car character or army, you take that car the country. After two rounds, they are discarded. Which means the Women's Battalion of Death is discarded. Wow, okay. So, let's see. You played that card, which you didn't get the name, but then you played James Armistead. 1.0. Now, okay, I know 2.0. Let's see what 1.0 says. James Armistead is considered a spy, but he might be under assassins. Just because they're all the same background. James Armistead says, interrupt. When being attacked, play Armistead and win the first attack from one of your opponents. Okay, when the first attack. So you're attacking. Whoever's Armistead is attacking. And then this one says, if you attack a land, so you, you can't both play. Oh, wait, wait. If you attack a land, okay, and this one says, when being attacked, okay. So Armistead's defending, they're attacking. Question is, uh, is this card pl pa card's power still considered to be a card that does its power when it attacks a land? That one says when it attacks a land. So yes, it would be when it attacks a land. Maybe, maybe I misunderstand that. What happens when an opponent plays Armistead or had earlier played Little Willie? Well, again, this is what we call a draw. If it's the exact same abilities, then no one wins. Or you could say they both win, but nothing happens. There's no negative effect if you have the exact same ruling. So now there are some that say this supersedes other cards. Well, if it supersedes, then it wins. But what if you have two cards that say they oversee, supersede, the exact same rules apply. It's the exact same ability, nobody wins, or both of them win, however you want to look at it. Glass half full, glass half empty. You choose, it means the exact same thing. Okay, moving on. Uh, number two, do the Chinese warriors work when your uh, opponent attacks me? Wait, 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 wait. Do the Chinese warriors work when your opponent attacks me or just when I attack my opponent because of the hold power? Okay, Chinese warriors. Going to see the Chinese warriors. Chinese warriors, if you attack, if you win an attack, if you win an attack, which means you would have to you would be winning that. You win an attack. It doesn't say if you were winning in defense. If you win an attack, 
you can return one card from your discard pile to your hand. This says, do the Chinese warriors work when your opponent attacks me? No, they don't, you have to attack. So if you win an attack, if you win an attack, you get it? If you win an attack, I don't know if I can say that any, any other way. Um, if my opponent does attack me, would it only work if I played 1.0 bombing of Hamburg, which means basically it turns the tables and you can attack your opponent. Yes, that would win because you're winning an attack and you're with the battle of Hamburg, you're now attacking. Let's see. Also, uh, Le Dumila, Le Dumila, Pavlochinsky, Pavlochinsko, sorry, uh, says, whether attacking or defending, does that defending part only work with 1.0 bombing of Hornburg? No, again, it could be, a, if you're using that one instead of, Yeah, see that one, I mean, you can use it in attack or defense. So if you're playing the Battle of Hamburg, you could use it during the defense period and you can use it during the attack period. So you can use it both. Hopefully that answers your question. On to part three. Okay, number three. When my opponent attacks me, I have play any William B. Questions, add them uh, to the comments Cowan below. Hoover. Otherwise, we'll see you next. Uh, Hoover. We'll see you tomorrow, actually. Cowan Take care. Hoover, I think. He's the... Um, uh, defibrillator guy. To put a, on an about to be discarded from the battle, 1.0 James Armistead into my hand. Can I use him to immediately win the battle? Okay, William is a scientist, so let's go to the scientist. In my hand, I have all cards, historical conquest, 1.0, wait, 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 and 2.0. So we're going to 2.0, and in this, I'm going to the scientists, and I'm going back to however you say his name. Not Braille. There he is. Cowan Hoven. Cowan Hoven. It says, interrupt. The cardiac defibrillator saves the life of one character destined for the discard pile. Place card back in hand. So instead of playing them automatically, you play them in your hand. This one says... When my opponent attacks me, I play William Cohenhoven to put an about to be discarded from the battlefield, a discarded card from the battle, from the battle, 1.0 James Armistead into my hand. Yes, you can put James Armistead back into your hand. Can I use him to immediately win the battle? Yes, actually you can. If you are able to uh, save him. So if they put Armistead into the discard pile by attacking, you can use this guy, which would then, it doesn't go in the discard, but if it goes back into your hand, the abilities reboot. If it's in the discard pile or if it's in your hand and gets played again, it's rebooted. rebooted. The abilities are used again. So let's see. I think that was it. Yep. That's the end of that question. And like I promised, we're going to get four questions in here. We have a minute and a half left. So it says, you said in an earlier video, Tokyo Rose stops the future morale from Cold War space race and Caesar Augustus Germanicus. What about Dillinger? He says, he said, oh, sorry. What about Dillinger? He says, your opponent loses 100 morale after each battle, regardless of outcome. Would Tokyo Rose stop all the morale he'd make you lose or just the morale you're losing presently. Uh, what about when he uses his abilities during your six day war? Because Tokyo Rose does say all loss of morale, but each attack is made separately. Okay, so let's go back through this. Okay. Uh, okay, let's look at Dillinger. So he is an outlaw. So let's go back to outlaws. Dillinger, Dillinger, Dillinger. Don't remember his first name. Dillinger. Or maybe he's not. I thought Dillinger was an outlaw. Wait a second. Yeah, he's a rare card, isn't he? Dillinger, right here. It says, 
Decrease opponent's morale by 100 after each battle, regardless of outcome. When John attacks a land with a law enforcement, a law enforcer, increase his strength by 200. Okay, so decrease opponent's morale by 100 points. Except that now they're asking about what if you used... Tokyo Rose. So Tokyo Rose, activist. Let's go to the activists. Go to Tokyo. Tokyo Rose. Okay, interrupt. Tokyo Rose cancels out any loss of morale caused by any one specific card. So, you lose 100 morale. She stops at one card from ever decreasing morale. And it says... Cancels out any loss of morale, so every time you would have lost. So she can actually, her abilities can be used on Dillager, so he can just keep attacking, but you won't lose the morale each turn. I like that. Okay, so why do you want to play Dillinger? Well, I mean, he is strong. Oh, okay, so this is an opponent's card anyways. It decreases the morale of your opponent, Dillinger right here, decreases the morale of your opponent every time you attack. So yes, they can play Tokyo Rose to stop his morale, him from taking the morale. Uh, let's see if I missed anything. What about when you use his power during the Six Day War? Because Tokyo Rose does say all loss of morale. Wait, wait, wait. All loss of morale, but each attack is made separately. Well, yeah. All loss of morale. It's... it's well, it is a hold in one time. Oh, good point. So, for that reason, if each tack is a, is a separate thing, then I hmm, I think you would only use, lose it one time, because it's a hold in one time. Or would it be like one turn? I'm gonna make an official ruling here. This is not a stump, it's more of a clarification. Tokyo Rose, that one, it means her turn. So that card, even though it's different events that are happening, because it's in the same turn, Tokyo Rose does apply and can stop that from uh, decreasing morale just for that turn, though. So, hope that helps. Okay, we're going to end it here, and we're going to come back with Simeon next time. So thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys.